Well, let's hope it didn't crash this time. Did not crash this time. Heroes of the Alliance, the Dragon Isles have awakened and beckoned the Dragonflight's home. Meet me in Stormwind, where I shall present the Aspect's invitation to the Alliance. Okay, that's why I loaded another character, because I thought I might have missed that. I'm not sure if we did. Oh yeah, Blizzard's shitty UI. I was thinking, why the fuck's the UI looking correct? We'll just make, we'll just check whether it actually does do it on my main. Oh yeah, wait, I'm logged in now. I can check where I've got the pet. Um, what the fuck's the filter on it? No, I haven't. That's worrying. Like, that's what I was scared of. Maybe it's on the first character I logged into in the mail. Like, I did the Twitch drop, which, like, will piss me off if, I, if, like, it didn't go through because of, like, I did it while the game was updating. Because, like, four hours is a fucking ridiculous amount of time to watch for a... Um, for the pet. Oh no, it's not here. Let's hope the game didn't crash. If there's anything crashing it, it's all things. Yeah, all things is crashing it. I think. All right. Let's get our shit done. Yeah, bagging exactly perfect. But at least I've got the UI right now, because it's not bugged on other characters. It's only bugged on. Carrot. It's only bugged on invokers. Time to see whether those quests are the right ones. Are the same ones from the Invoker? Oh, nice! They fixed the problem I had. Like, the lightning used to not work on this. So, like, that little lightning at the base there used to be just always, like, there and it looked really dumb. But it looks like they fixed it now. Here is the hero I spoke of. Heroes never die. You stand before the black That's what invitation extends to you as well, friend. Until next time. Ah, Adakart. Impeccable timing. I just met with Lord Commander Tyralian and his allies, and I have accepted the as and they have accepted the invitation to the Dragon Isles. You'll come along as of course. It wouldn't be the same without you. I imagine you have noticed some unfamiliar faces gathering. The ones with the wings called Drakfir. Well, I have wings. <laughs> They're just a bit static. They have only known me for a short time, but they are already great admirers. Oh, but where are my manners? We should have a chat. Stay a while and listen. pleased that you have accepted our invitation to the Dragon Isles, Lord Commander. During the dark days of the Cataclysm, 
The aspects made great sacrifices to save our world. Yeah, the relationship really will answer awesome the call and stand together with Dragonkind once again. Alexstrasza shall be most appreciative. Though she will insist that you do not bring any lingering conflicts to her shores. You have my word that this will be an expedition, not a military maneuver. To honor our truce with the Horde, I have instructed the Explorers League to work in concert with the Reliquary. Just think of all the ancient knowledge we can discover together. The Dragon Isles is our home, not a place for outsiders to plunder. The Draxir will accompany the Alliance on this journey, but it will take time to build trust between us. <laughs> As a fellow soldier, I share your wariness, Azorathel. Splendid! You two have found common ground already. Now then, let us begin preparations for our voyage. The Dragon Isles await. Oh yeah, I should actually queue for the dungeon while we're doing this. So we can get like these done and the dungeon. Where the fuck's the dungeon? Can I not queue for the dungeon? Until like I've done this? Do I have to like complete like the... Do I have to complete like this opening thing before I can actually queue for the dungeon? Can't wait to see you see the Dragon Isles with Yarda Cat. No, I believe that the Demon ally of yours said something about putting together an expedition. To meet you. Name's Toddy. I'll be heading out on the brand new Cheery Adventures under the banner of the Dragon Scale Expedition. We'll got the details from later. For now, just focus on gathering the crew. Every expedition worth its salt has a variety of folks. We ought to have scholars, artisans, and of course explorers. Well, what are you standing here for? Assemble the crew. Spotted some promising crew members as I was flying over the city. Round them up, and let's get to it. This toddy's enthusiasm is admiral, but I hope that it doesn't blind her to the dangers awaiting us on the Dragon Isles. Regardless, the Obsidian Wardens are duty-bound to protect the expedition. I must speak with Raffian and the Lord Commander about our mission ahead. My fellow Drakfir are exploring the city. Seek out Daviston, my trusted lieutenant, and inform her that we are uh, rallying at the dock. She'll, uh, she will relay orders to the rest. I'm a Drakfear myself. Look, I have the Drakfear wings. Okay, where are we going? Dwarven District and uh, Scholomance. Not Scholomance. Stockades. King Anduin's too soft, answering the summons of an orc, graving an orc funeral. An expedition sounds exciting. That kind of borders on treason. And what about it? Clap me in irons. He'd never. He wouldn't. But he's a. He wouldn't. But he is a good king. No, he's not. No more like Anduin. Tell me of your glories. Nice ruby. Have you seen the wrench anywhere? Craftsmanship is something else. You can learn a lot from studying the work of others. Just the thought of it, what lies ahead, gets me excited. We need an artisan for the expedition to the Dragon Isles. Will you join us? You adventures. Oh, I'm game. When there's work to be done, my hammer's always ready to be put to good use. See you at the docks. <laughs> I think I've got all of them actually, all of the gems now on my bar. How many dragons are there in the Dragon Isles? Oh, you're the photo guy, aren't you? No quill, no ink. Gnome shakes his head. 
How do you expect to sign me to sign an oral cryptograph if you don't come prepared? We need scholars for the expedition to the Dragon Isles. Will you join us? Maybe someday you'll be famous. Like me. Duty calls. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be off to make a name for myself in the splendiferous Dragon Isles. Where is she? Is she actually in the dungeon? Like, oh, she's on top of the place. Welcome to our makeshift training ring, friend. I trust that we do not disturb anyone up here. I've instructed the warders to be very careful to keep their blast of magic from falling down below. Skill Commander Azamil would like you to meet him at the dock. The Drakthea, stand ready. Or is the last one on the dock? Yeah. Didn't have to go very far. Cogs and sprockets. I have miscalculated. Don't panic. We've prepared for this. Awaiting your input. Help you with something? I was sort of busy with these trainees finer points of scale and walls. We need explorers for the expedition to the Dragon Isles. Will you join us? Expedition to the Dragon Isles? Sounds fun. But they've got plenty of soaring peaks to climb. Wrap it up, trainees. We're moving out. Exemplary work. Announcing appreciation. Your gratitude has been accepted. Bonk, horny bat. I was gonna bring it back. Yeah, I only have this quest because um, literally just keep getting spammed it while I'm <laughs> um, in the um, in my raid team, so I might so I just kept it. <laughs> so they can't just keep giving you it. Nah, he's gonna be replaced by an actual actual mount. And annoyingly, this is the problem. I have to farm these fucking primal essences to get these before the event ends. I just need the mog. I don't need, like, the other things. I need the toy and shit. But, um... I have two days. We can also get the regiment back, which is very cheap. Very worth it. But I'm gonna try and get all the mog, but I... I don't have much time, I only have two days, like I said, so I'm gonna have to be working all the time, it's gonna be awful. Let's go to report the turbulence element storms are churning in the sea into dangerous uh, unnatural levels. Until the clear, we won't be going anywhere. Why don't you see what you can do to help with that while we wait? Let's get moving. Hold that was fast. You get to get to the Dragon Isles, huh? Me too. Oh, I'm pleased the Drakfear are coming with us. Can't wait to challenge the scale commander to a race of uh, on old wild fab. My griffin's the best levery wings any day. Best these levery wings any day. Is that it? Is there? Sorcery! We're under attack! Be at ease, Toddy. This is a friend, not a foe. Apologies for my abrupt arrival, but the news I bring cannot wait for pleasantries. It's Cadgar from the hit game Hearthstone. Hello, Arakat. I've been waiting. I've been. It's been a while, and I wish that we had more time to catch up. But you see, I just had a rather enlightening. No, make that a forbidden, yes, forbidden conversation with an old friend. 
Something, sometimes a revolution can be both, after all. I recently mu I really must tell you I've le what I've learned. Speak to the, speak to Khadgar. What happened, Khadgar? Oh, and you. I did not expect to see you again so soon, my friend. After you'd answered the call of the Isles. Something has happened, Khadgar. Something terrible. Galgos. Tell me. It all happened so quickly. And Rathian, young as he is, bravely or perhaps foolishly tried to stop it. But he was too late. The Tempest had already been unleashed. She let me live with a message. They are coming to cleanse the world of the Titan's stain. Alex Straza, who is she? What is she? She is Razagath, youngest of the primal incarnates. Incarnates? Four dangerous adherents of the elemental forces. At the dawn of the aspects, our flights embraced the Titan's gifts. They did not. The war that followed was unimaginable. And it took all of our strength combined to banish them. If they were so dangerous, why were they not destroyed? I hadn't the heart to do it. We were once as clutchmates. Time, it seems, has not quelled their fury. And look at us. Should she free her kin now, we haven't the strength to stop them. And if Iridicrum's hunger is unleashed... Then we have no choice. If we are to be protectors once more, the aspects of our dragonflights must be made anew. Our queen is determined, Khadgar. But we've only just begun to find who we are again. And I fear that without help, we may never get the chance to see our future secured. Hmm. It seems the mortal races too must answer the call and face the storms ahead. I have been expecting you. Your action is understandable. I dare say I feel the same. The black dragon To stop Razagath from freeing the other incarnates, the power of the aspects must be restored. Inconveniently, the Titans are rather preoccupied, and Keepatir is long dead. Queen Alexstrasza has suggested a plan in the, a plan in the depth of the Badlands lies a Titan facility called Ulderman. Apparently, allies of Tyr may have hidden a disc of his memories there. World is word is the place is overrun by Trogs. Gather your allies, head into Ulderman, and seize the discs in the name of the Dragon Queen. Razakath has wasted no time building her primal forces. The current have detected massive storms being unleashed at key points across Kalamador and the Aetzen Kingdoms. The primalists are unleashing the elements to add to their strength. It seems that the plan to cause chaos is not only in the Dragon Isles, but on, in the lands of the Alliance and the Horde as well. Seek out the enemies and study their methods. We, we have to stop them before it's too late. Gather 
10 motes of primal energy from the enemies in the storms. And you get a pet. So, the handsome fellows are sending you on a wee adventure here. That's fine. The expedition won't be able to set sail until someone gets those elemental storms under control anyway. Check in with Storm Hunter William. He's le leading the expedition effort, investigating the storms, and can outfit you with whatever you need. I'll coordinate the rest of the preparations from here while you gather all of the fun out there. You owe me one, though. Yes, you're as eager as I am to set sail, aren't you? We've got a bit more preparation to do here, then we'll be on our way. So can we queue for the dungeon now? Or do we actually have to physically go to Badlands? Looks like we have to physically go to Badlands still. If you're heading towards into those storms, you're going to need the air, uh, all the help you can get. Lucky for you, I've been stocking up on the storm ca chasing gear for years. Take a look and see what fits. See well, I can't buy anything because I don't have any fucking parts. But this allows us to actually get our regiment back. I fucking hate the boats. Why don't they just turn the boats into teleporters? Okay, looks like we've only got primal fire. I thought there was another primalist on this island. Uh, primal... Okay, I guess we'll try and do the fire and then we'll head to Badlands. I think the fire is actually in the Badlands, which is... Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how the fuck... Where the Titan Disc's memory recover? How the fuck do I queue for the dungeon? Is it just there? Yeah, there it is. It was there the entire time, I just didn't have it. See, I'm going to have to try and grind out all of the gear. It shouldn't be too difficult, but like I said, the problem is I have two days rather than the 12 days that I should have. In fact, I should have 13 days, but annoyingly, Blizzard are like, Americans get 13 days, UK, 12. And then we've got the problem that Pokemon's coming out, Pokemon Brilliant Scarlet and, um, no, Scarlet and Violet are coming out, so I literally have two to get everything done. But we are close to finishing. Like, we've done, like, the Drakfear ship. We've done the Stormwind ship. Most of the Stormwind ship, anyway. And we need to get, like, four rare drops from each of the bosses to make a heirloom gear. Like, this heirloom gear. I don't believe that they're hard to get. I think they're 100% drop chance from each one, but they could, might not be. Fortunately, the item is um, account wide. Oh wait! Also, we're actually in a video, so I can open my fucking boxes finally. Hopefully, this doesn't knock me off my mount, so I'm gonna make sure I'm over this cliff while I do it. Finally, open these. Yeah, I really should swap covenant, but oh well. Another pet. Been saving these for so long. Been wasting bag space. Alright, primal. Gotta go to this one. Is that the boss? Oh fuck, that's probably the boss, isn't it? Yeah, we can make it, maybe. It looks like I made it just in time. See, I think we got the fire one, but no, we didn't. We just got a fucking neck. That's bad. Did not get the, what we needed. We got legacy of Tia to drop. I have only lucky to turn you like. Okay, so we'll do the dungeon. There's five books in this dungeon as well, which I need to find. Uh, is this beginning? Okay. So we're looking out from 
five massive as fuck books just lying around on the floor. Like, I wasn't sure if there were mob drops originally, but... Oh. Someone with great knowledge of the magics might be interested in studying this. Deliver this sigil of the, uh, of the storms hunters to William. So yeah, we're looking for giant as fuck books. What's this? Okay, so we can mine the rock. Fortunately, these dungeons are really easy, and they actually are the best. This is the best way to gear. Like, it's pretty easy to get in here, and it rewards gear, which is far better than the um, than the um, primal things. Because the primal loot is like 250. This is 272, and it's a really easy. And the dungeon's really easy as well. So yeah, we've got to look out for these books. I don't know where they are. I just... Fortunately, I did see one in a video, so they are just giant books on the floor. I wasn't sure whether they were mob drops originally, like I said. Oh good, the Legion Basilisks. But as you can see, the mobs just die in no difficulty. Blizzard game that no one's ever heard of called Lost of Vikings. Like these bosses are just a reference to that, but no one's ever heard of it because it's an absolute ancient fucking game. I've never even played it, I've just seen it. I wonder if you have to kill them simultaneously. These also help you with a quest in the zone. Oh, they got a boat. You want a tussle? Wait, where the fuck? How the fuck do they get the loot? Where's the loot? Oh my god, why am I not fine? Maybe it's because we're not deep enough yet. Like, we are technically still in the... Done. We are still technically in the front part. Interesting as well, though, the... Oh yeah, dungeons aren't affected by that, it's only raids. But we want to make it so that raiding is completely dead by making it much easier to get loot in dungeons. Mm. Bone Storm, the true power of a DK. I ain't gonna lie, it's the best covenant ability, it's no wonder they left, kept it. Oh, let me smash, please. Well, there's a giant book, but it's not letting me pick it up. Like, I reckon, like, that's the sort of size that the books are, though, that we're looking for. But they're closed you instead of open. Certainly not learning the mechanics though. I'll have to learn them later. Try just keep them in ads. Okay, useless in that. Useless. Actually, mine. What's this? A mole machine. Nice work. That frog has been a real guest. We know how to open the door, but that ugly rockhead always kept us out. Want to see something nifty? What's this? That did it. Now let's see what we can find inside. 
Yeah, I'm hoping the books are just found in this. There we are, there's the first book. Like, these contain important lore. Oh, these are so cool. Mate, stop moving so fucking fast. Oh my god, one of my add-ons makes this so bullshit. Like, it doesn't show the fucking cast bar. Because I was doing raid and it, like, does not show the cast bar. Like, it shows, like, the move, but it doesn't show how long it's take gonna take to cast. So it's like, this fucking UI change is useless. I fucking hate the UI change. Because, like, it's not a UI improvement, it's a UI fucking change. And it's a non-optional change that, like, I don't want it. Makes it a pain, like, on every character, I have to edit on every fucking character. Can you um, take aggro? You know, do your fucking job. Oh god, that's gonna pull more of them in it for laughs. Hey, how fast everyone's moving though. Yeah, that's the thing from below. I've never seen it. I just saw it in the talent tree on Shadow Priest. I was like, that sounds cool. Everyone's moving too fucking fast. The problem is though, like, all these mobs, like... It's too far Probably gonna find that like the books in spots which like I can't get to because they're not clearing everything. Arachnids. Look, we've been left behind, very far behind. Oh fuck! Can we make it? The door is quite far away. Why am I have I grown? I get everything. Can they slow the fuck down? I'm a fucking DK. I can't move fast. Especially when I'm trying to fucking find these books on as well. have to run back through here and find them. Like I said, I tried to find out where the books were before the expansion came out, but I just couldn't find any data on them. 
Well, I could find the data on them. I could find exactly what the fuck they said, just not where the fuck they are. Freezes for stepping in there. Really should have known. Considering that we saw someone else stood there. This is what happens when like people pull far too much. I feel like we're, yeah, we're nearly finished the dungeon. Like, how have we like only found one book? Well, we know exactly why we've only found one book. They're not giving me even a second to fucking look around. There's another one. Yeah, but they shouldn't have even lost the power to start with. It was a mistake. They should have retconned it when they had the opportunity. Now the disc is lost to time, just as you are about to be. One asshole. In all timelines, Well, you obviously haven't seen all timelines then. Really should not stand behind. I have a five or seven books, and I think there's five, considering how few we found. No, we didn't even die. Your efforts are impressive, but in vain. The timelines are converging. There will be only one aspect, and Lurison shall be infinite. Yeah, people think Morrison's going to be the end boss of this expansion. I really hope he isn't. For a very simple reason. We've already killed Morrison. So it doesn't make sense that he'd be the end boss of an expansion since he died so pathetically in Cataclysm. Meaning that if he is the end boss, he cannot die. He has already died. If Morazond is an end boss, he is invincible. He cannot be killed since he is already dead. Okay, so we need to find the missing books. Uh, 
That looks like a book. Why am I even able to pick it up? There we are. There's one. I'll put them in the order that I'm picking them up in. Shit, despawned. How annoying. Might be able to kill one more one mob if it's by itself. I think they're only in the Titan rooms. Not like the stone corridors. Not in the cave parts, just the actual like building parts. I think that's the only place you can find them. Could be one in this room. Okay, can't get behind that rock. Now this is the part which I'm not entirely sure about. Unless all the mobs are dead. Nope. Like I said, if there's a if they were by themselves, I might be able to kill them. But the fact that they are in a group, I probably can't. And I can probably kill one mob. I can always use scouting things to have a look in the corridors that are guarded by mobs. I have a bunch of toys I can use to scout with. Uh, One this boy picked up like one of the first books though. No. Um There it is. I think we got them all now. On this way, we got the first one. Yep, the first one was here. So yeah, I think we got them all now. But just to make sure, we're gonna go back to the entrance. Then we'll read them, and then we'll do the other things next time. Or will we? Yeah, probably. So we got two pieces of loot. <coughs> And I could...
could store these books for later. If I don't really have space. Space! Wanna go to space. Space. Space! Oh wait, this is actually... No. I thought there would be trip might be, be a, um battle their account so I could trade it to one of my alts, because that would be useful. So we got our book. Gamma. Okay, so. Law. Fellow Watchers, when you were assigned to observe the state of the Titan Forge subject who regretfully fell under the influence of the flesh, the Keepers could not have anticipated the effort necessary to follow them as they spread through the world. I shall do my best to ensure your preservation is recognised, but for now, you are to continue your duties until a new directive is authorised. It is apparent from your reports that the degree of transformation in Titan Forge subjects is significantly diverse. There is no group in which the variance is more easily observed than the urban. While some have succumbed entirely to the mil to the late malady, such as the urban who emerged from Ulderman and called themselves dwarves, other remain resistant, whether in full part, full or in part. One particular uh, noteworthy variant can be found in the urban conjuns dispatched to investigate the fissure detected in sector. AR-938. For further details, search the records related to geonomical, geological anomalies. In the case of their duties, these urban began to manifest behaviour an analogous with those which would one day be apparent in the self-styled dwarf, despite the two groups being separate by vast sweeps of time and distance. In fact, based on the origin dates, I could identify no correlation at all between these populations, yet their behaviours, language and demeanours show many similarities. For example, a sign in sector AR938, the canonial lame Kazalgar. Physiolog physiologically, the two groups remain distinct. The distinctiveness due to the exposure to the unique qualities of the anom anomaly, or is there another reason? We require more data before a cons conclusion can be reached. As ever, your aid in the analysis remains invaluable. Remember, we are the eyes of the Titan, respectively. Watch your Malia. Yeah. Oh no, my books aren't working now. My noble friends, forgive me for keeping secrets, but I instructed Sentinel Taralus to withhold the message until you had safely reached your destination. If you are reading this, then our worst fears have been realised. I have fallen to the foe, murdered on the orders of the treacherous Loken. But fear not, for I have prepared for this dark eventuality. Along with the discs of Nagalond, you carry, I hid another disc that holds the records of my own memories. Taladon will ensure that it's safeguarded within the depths of Alderman until such a time as it's safe to retrieve. I have fashioned the relic hive to question my to be questionably loyal to me. Unquestionably loyal to me. Before departing um Valdraken, I left a gift in case in the care of the uh, dragon aspect. Though they are unaware of its true purpose, the artifact can be used within the halls of Ulderus to outwit Loken's Magalurus seams. When it is safe to do so, bring me my memory disc back to Ulgarus and retrieve the item I gave to the aspect. You will know what to do next. 
Dearest Is <coughs> Isma and my no <coughs> noble opponents, I place my trust in you. When we stand together, nothing can be overcome our unity. Yours always, Tia. Keepers, it has been brought to my attention that, as of late, many of you have become fascinated by the emergence of mortal beings, that is, creatures born of flesh rather than crafted of stone and steel like the loyal titan forged. While my in initial impulse was to eradicate these aberrations before they evolved further, I now believe that they may prove themselves so, uh, useful if properly controlled. Yet even as we guide their development according to the etiquettes of the Titans, we must always remember that mortals' minds are destined to be small and incapable of com a complex understanding. Therefore, as a prime designator, I established a few minor but necessary regulations to govern your interactions with these uh, nuisance beings. First, all historical records documenting the advancement of the Black Empire are to be purged. Painting the age as one of chaos and misery, a perilous blight that we keepers eradicated. With the old gods locked in confinement, there should be no evidence available to contradict our assertions. Surely, if you ca uh, care for these mortals, you would not wish for them to see what. Uh, to see them led astray into darkness. Interesting, they eradicated all data on the old gods to make it look like they're the villains, when possibly the old gods ain't as bad as we think. Secondly, attributes all accomplish, attribute all accomplishers and works of wonder to the titans alone. Despite the re restless arguments made by some of you, this is not a facility after all. Can anything truly be said exists until it has been ordered? Of course not. Therefore, it is inferable that the Titans are the source of all creation. So the Titans did not create everything because they just wanted to make everyone think this. But do not share knowledge of the first ones. Mortals cannot co uh, conceive of the wonders that may that the Makers grant to the Titans in Zenith or us. Thus, learning of the power uh, Progegons would only confuse them. It is enough that the mortals know the Titans brought order to the cosmos and that they were owed, owed dif uh, difference. While well, some among us uh, would prefer to argue these points further, such debates can no longer be tolerated. I remind you that I speak with the authority of the Titans and any uh, dis distent may cause me to question whether you have succumbed to outside influences. Remember, life is, cha life is chaos, it must be controlled. Your leader, Prime Designator Odin. <sighs> so the Titans literally just rewrote history for lols because they wanted to be the good guys. But who knows, it's only a little bit of data. But like I said, important lore. I knew parts of this because, like, of course, people can't shut the fuck up about it. But I tried to avoid as much about these books as possible. Prime designated. I'm writing to confirm that the wreckage discovered on the shores was indeed the remains of the most recent expedition of Avalar. There's no survivors. The marks the third fi failed attempt to reach the accursed place. In the time since the assumed my post. While I wouldn't, would not presume to question whether you authority or de uh, determination, I pray to the Titans that the rumours I hear of a fourth expedition are mere speculation rather than fact. Surely you can see the further pursuit of the her heretics is fully folly. Yes, they must be made to answer for their crimes against the against Inia and the other keepers, but their defences are not to be underestimated. The resources required to breach their lines are simply beyond the current cap capabilities, at least not without jeopardising the containment of the prisoners in our charge. Though I agree that there is a risk in allowing their strength to grow, evidently suggesting the aggression nature of the heretics will cause them to turn on one another and weaken their resolve. If we can patient 
be patient and opportunity for the re rebellion will pre present itself. I beseech you, Prime Designate, let the <coughs> fire of the wrath cool, at least for now. Its embers will rekindle in due time. It's n if not, I fear that I will soon be authorizing yet another fi uh, report of lost expedition in the final regiment dashed upon the rocks and waves. With all respect, watch a paraphus. Wait, was that the last book? Brother Loken, as you requested, I offered the following report on the progress towards our objective. I am pleased to say that the halls of infusion are not operational. Though the work of imbuing order magic into the wellspring is only the beginning, I remain optimistic that the process will prove effective. Already we are <coughs> detecting resistance levels, re reduced re contaminate. <sighs> We are already detecting reduced levels of contamination. I hope your investigation into how Yogg-Saron compromised these living waters will yield answers. In the meantime, we can be assured that the evolution of Galakrond will not be triggered by consuming unfiltered water. Once purified, is once the purification is complete, an additional benefit will be found in the offering. Offering the infused water to the dragonkin. By investigating the water or causing the eggs to absorb its effect, it should be possible to keep the most willful dragons aligned with the titan's philosophies. Our efforts are to bring the proto dragons in line with uh, have faced resistance, but I am formulating a strategy to speed the process along. Construction of the facility on top of the Hall of Infusion is beginning being proceeding at pace. Therefore, the situation is to designate Ulderus. I must re reluctantly report that the dragons have taken to call in the structure Tearhold. I will do my best to ensure our Titan-forged workforce do not adopt the imbecinary feudalism, but as of late, they seem to be expressing more and more opinions of their own. In closing, let's underscore once again how feverishly I disagree with the assertion of the Prime Designate Odin concerning the unstability of the dragon aspect. I have ever I have every confidence that they will prove thorough and allies in our shared goals of keeping the world structure and discipline. Ever your friend, keep it here. So the map so the titans made mind control water for the dragons for lulls. Okay, we've read that one. Let's just have a look, just checking where we missed a book. It's so annoying though that they don't fucking open. I believe we have read all of them now. Well, <coughs> that is that.